everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of RVs with Gabby. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you like my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. Okay, so I've done a lot of motorhomes recently because we were getting ready for the Integra motorhome display at the Hershey show. Now that it's over, let's get back to some towables for those with trucks. This one's going to need an extremely beefy truck. This is your 2022 Alliance Paradigm Model 385 FL. A great floor plan, beautiful on the inside and out, um, and it is made for full timers. So if you're not familiar with the Paradigm uh, brand, or actually Alliance as a brand, and then the Paradigm series, they came about uh, several years ago with the customer base that needed a full time unit. So these guys built it after asking customers, what are you looking for in a full time unit? And some of those things were more storage, bigger windows, better running gear, and more, um, just more capacity in terms of load, how much stuff you could put in the unit. Um, also your AC and your heating systems are pretty neat on this too. So uh, I will start with the pass-through storage. So this particular layout, the front, it's deceitful because it doesn't look like there's too much pass-through storage. But you're a 101 inch wide body unit and this floor plan has a lifted rear. So all of your storage is really in the back. Let's go check it out. Oh, here's two awnings that you can hang out underneath when you're outside camping, right? Love those, can't forget those. And this is the storage that I was talking about. So not only do you have access to it from both sides, camping and hookup side, check that out guys. Crazy amount of storage. But if you head around the back, you have a rear access door here. And inside this access door is a massive slide out tray. This is one of those Moride slide out trays that you see on like diesel pusher motorhomes that can come all the way out to you. And it's got 800 pound weight rating capacity on this. So you need to hide a couple dead bodies, we got you. You need to put a couple kayaks, we got you. Whatever stuff you're into, it can definitely fit into the Alliance. All right, back up. Uh, backup camera prepped on these units in case you want a rear camera. You have got a tow hitch here. Now this is rated for 300 pounds. If you want to put a little tailgate, uh, tailgate extender and put some stuff on the back, just be warned guys that your payload is all based on a rating of no more than 300 pounds back here. So please be careful that you don't overload, overload it if you put a little um, hitch, hitch gate on the back of it. You have your large G-rated Westlake tires on this baby, massive tires that are meant to haul this massive unit. I'll explain a little bit more about the uh, rest of the running gear when we get on the other side. But uh, fiberglass exterior, right? You've got an aluminum cage construction, so super high-end quality unit. Around this side is your water, um, your water station. So super easy, color-coded, everything is accessible. You have a black tank flush, you have an outside shower hose, and back here is gonna be an easy access panel for all of your uh, plumbing and all of your wiring. And they do smart colored wiring here so that you can do, for the do-it-yourselfers, you can do it, a lot of it from here yourself. You can call and get help from a technician if you use our RV complete service or you can call Alliance for assistance. Um, also, all of your plumbing has individual shutoffs, which means I'm camping and I have a leak in my sink. Oh boy, what am I gonna do? Now I can't shower, I gotta shut everything off? No, you just come around here and you turn off that particular plumbing structure until you can get a, a maintenance person out to check that out. Electric auto leveling here, super easy and simple. What I love about this is that they actually give it a little access door for protection so that it's not getting soaking wet out here. Underneath is your access to your docking light switch here. And then you've got your um, 2000 watt inverter on board and you are generator prepped on this unit. So um, 
Most of these come generator prepped. Right now it's really difficult to get generators in stock. So if you are gonna order one and you need a generator, definitely advise do that from the factory. You will save money and you will be guaranteed to get a generator because they are really hard to come by right now. I think we have one in stock and it's running something like $12,000, $13,000 furnish and install because it's the last one in the entire company. Okay, back around this side. You do have another spray port here on the camping side in case you need it to clean dishes or clean your four-legged, two-legged campers and whatnot. Um, and you have a electrical port in case you wanna bring a mini fridge and set up a little TV here. You know, I get some feedback sometimes, hey, they don't have an outside entertainment center. But if you think about it, some units put a TV up in that um, storage pass-through and then it doesn't even come out at a good angle and there's a lot of sunlight reflecting and you just don't get a v good view. So they just put this port here for you to set up your own gear and you don't have to worry about whether or not you can see it because you can fine tune it. Okay, performance gear on these babies. They're moving the tractor next to us. So performance running gear on these alliances is probably one of the biggest reasons to choose an alliance. They do a two inch torsion tube that's welded to your I-beam, which is unbeatable strength and rigidity in this market. You have the um, CRE 3000 suspension along with a 7,000 pound rated axles and then 4K rated springs, unlike um, your typical 3.5 on the other models. Your, like I said, G-rated tires are weight rated for 4,400 pounds each, so it can handle this heavy duty unit. Um, finally, they do a V bracket for reinforcers on the spring hangers, that's huge. And their heavy duty um, half inch thick shackles and wet bolt kit is stronger than the competition. It won't, it's not um, plastic, which sometimes can be an issue. All right, let's head out. Oh, before we go in, I do wanna point out, this unit is warranted for full time. So a big thing now is everybody wants to go full time. They wanna live in their units. This was built for full timers. So what better thing to do than provide a full time warranty on it? So you are covered one year on the interior build on these units. Um, and then I believe it's a three year structural, right, Caleb? So three year structural on that, but it's for full time. So you don't have to hide it from your technicians. You don't have to hide it from your dealership, from any, anybody. They know that you live in it. You know, other models that say warranty, it is an RVers warranty, which is for like weekenders and um, part time. It's not, it's seasonal, it's not full time. So if they find out you live in it full time, sometimes that can void parts of your warranty. So this is huge, as well as the Asdel on board. So in your sidewall, instead of your Luon, you have that new Asdel composite board. That is a non-organic material, guys. I know I'm saying a lot of w big words right now, but what that means, it's mildew, mold, and water resistant on the inside of this sidewall. So um, bubbling delamination, very difficult to get it on this kind of sidewall, um, especially as long as you maintain that roof. And that roof system is a PVC roof. So that's new for, um, like fifth wheel lines, they're not, not too many brands are using that right now, but it is very good at, at um, what do you call it? Repelling the sunlight, reflecting the sunlight. Thank you, that's the word I was looking for. Reflecting sunlight to keep the heat out of your coach and it's easier to patch repair on the road. So massive for that PVC roof. Okay, so coming into the 385, you are greeted with the island kitchen. And to the left of Caleb here is your, your first bath. Yep, there's two bathrooms on board, guys. So this is your half bath. Not super massive, but it'll do. I love the epoxy countertop. You have a mirror, you have a porcelain toilet. Super nice on that. And then you have this massive residential fridge. In the bottom of the fridge is an ice maker, but just be warned, guys, I don't think they hook this up. It has to be hooked up. It comes from the factory unhooked. Lots of storage and I love the colors. You have these neutral um, beige and then you have the accented light brown. So nothing too dark and they do not come in multiple colors for um, the ease of customers ordering and not to be too confusing and give you too many options that you get so flustered you don't end up ordering anything. They just keep it very um, simple. So this is the only color you can get in the Alliance right now. Exterior is the only color. I, be I believe they're coming out with a full body paint option. Um, but for these 22s, that's all you're gonna get. Full size residential insignia um, oven. You know, they make a big point to say, you could cook a turkey in here if you want to. I don't know if you wanna have everybody over for Thanksgiving, because we can't fit at that table, but we can definitely fit in the um, front living room, which is awesome. Four burners, big oven, like I said, you get a lot of stuff in there. It's not like your little, um, you know, broil a single steak when it's raining. Sad little travel trailer oven. Big residential microwave here, guys, as well. Um, 
And most of these appliances I have learned since the Hershey show are actually meant for this kind of travel. So they have extra brackets and special wiring um, for safety ratings to be able to kind of handle the shake of, a, a, of the trailer while it's going down the road. Oh, look at that. We were missing a light here. Um, let there be light. Roll up drying rack here in this big single stainless steel sink. And you do have a pull faucet there. I like that. See, here's that sticker that shows your shutoff valves and plumbing fixtures. That's huge. You're going to have your breakfast nook or your coffee bar here. Again, ample amounts of storage in here, guys. I mean, they really just make an effort anywhere, they're, anywhere, the, anywhere they can to give you extra storage. You are um, washer dryer prep. That's going to be up in the master bathroom in the back of the unit. Uh, I don't know why they put the sticker here, I guess, just to let you know. And no floor vents and flush floors. So if you look at your slide outs, no carpet, flush floor slide outs, and then there's no um, heating vents on the floor. So that's big. Stepping up into the living room, you've got a shoe storage below that bottom stair there, which is kind of neat. And then coming up into the living room, you're going to have two opposing sofas that pull out for two full beds so four people can sleep up here. We've got a set of Kensington theater seats, electric on that end. And I believe in the middle here, you should have, yeah, little armrests with your cup holders. Up front, you're gonna have a big 40 inch smart TV, your radio stereo system, which has, this unit has the um, inside speakers here and then your exterior speaker controls are right there as well. Again, storage all around that, even in the Really neat pull out fireplace storage, right? We love that. You pull that out and you actually have a place to put your bootleg liquor in case they bring back prohibition. <laughs> um, big thing on this unit is your ACs. If you notice guys, there's no ducting on the ceiling of these. And the reason for that is that they believe that the um, drop ACs are gonna produce a lot more cooling power a lot faster if you eliminate that duct work. So you're only gonna see duct work in the bathroom and the bedroom of this unit. And that's just because the third AC is in the bedroom. Oh yeah, there's three ACs. And this is one of the only units that each one runs off a 15 amp breaker. So you can actually run all three ACs on your 50 amp service. Most coaches with three ACs are gonna have a 20 amp breaker on each one, which is gonna mean that it's gonna cycle through and shut one off at a time. This one is set up so all three can run. And I just turned these on about 20 minutes ago, right? And they're running super cool. It's already cooling down this coach, which is really awesome. And they're fairly quiet. They're not like they used to be a couple years ago. Oh, look, I think I missed more lighting here. So that's fully lit. That looks a lot nicer. All right, pre-wiring for the generator here. That's where you would turn it on. Um, you have the controls to your inverter here as well. And then big thing on Alliance, they don't, they know some people really don't like those smart panels. So you've got the old fashioned button panel here. So no smart, no connection to your phones, just plain and simple button structure. I know some people worry about those iPads and those smart tablets going out. That's why they did the um, buttons for you. Stepping up into the bedroom, you've got a king size bed, windows even on the slide outs. I forgot to point out how big these windows are. You've got big atrium windows throughout, which is huge. Uh, all these shades are pull. They are blackout shades, easy to pull and push. There's no, um, you know, none of those like accordion style uh, shades. Hidden storage, even on the top here, you've got a jewelry case or maybe for your handguns. Oh, soft clothes there too. And then you've got all of this pull out storage. That looks really good, right? That one's a little bit broken there, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll just keep moving. Um, another smart TV in here. And then you've got a full hanging dresser here and more shelves below. Now on both sides of the bed, you're going to have plugs for USBs for charging and then your regular outlets. And I think up there is for a CPAP machine actually. So if you need that um, up there, you're gonna have that wired there for a CPAP machine and comfortably can sit up there. Into the master bathroom we go. Now this is open, so I'll show it to you before I close it up. Prep for washer dryer, or it's another hanging, sh hanging closet space. Plenty of plugs in there and connections. Moving into the bathroom, you have a vent fan up top. You've got a nice big residential shower. I love that teak wood seat there and a pretty big shower head compared to the competition as well. Um, again, epoxy countertops throughout. I love these countertops. I wish they would do these on like 
the actual kitchen area. But um, big stainless steel sink, you can actually get your hands in there pretty good and wash. And then you've got this nice backlit um, medicine cabinet. All right, lots of storage throughout here. You have another um, little linen closet here. Again, another hanging storage shelf. And yeah, pretty much that is our 385 FL. I think it's a beautiful layout. It does really well for couples looking to go full time. You just gotta make sure that you look at your payloads and your weight capacity and towing and that you get the right truck for this unit. And make sure when you go to your car dealerships that they're not trying to stuff you in whatever they have and tell you that it can pull something that it can't. Because we have had customers in here who say, um, actually I was told I can pull 12,000 pounds. You can't pull this with 12,000 pounds by the way, but they say, oh, I can pull up to 12,000 pounds and it turns out they can only pull 8,000 or so, which is really frustrating. So um, you're more than welcome to come in here and shop around with me at Orlando RV. And when you find the unit, then you go to the dealership and you find the exact car. And you can even call us and say, hey, is this a good model? Uh, my manager, Gerardo, is great at that. He used to be in car sales, so he is more than happy to make sure that it fits the specifications that you need for your coach to get on the road today. All right. Until next time, thank you so much and happy camping. Real quick, I just forgot to tell you guys, as long as we have 2022 models on our lot, Alliance is doing an amazing promotion for the end of the summer rebate. If you buy a 2022 model, you get a rebate check back for $2,022 back in your pocket. So be sure to give me a call if you are in the market for an Alliance Paradigm. I'd love to put you in my last 22s and get you out there camping with an extra check for all the add-ons you're gonna have to buy for your new unit. Thanks guys.